This is a video maybe I should have scripted before I just press record. Nah, we'll be fine. Oh God, <laughs> I spoke too soon. As the majority of you have probably realized, I'm not doing Vlogmas this year, what with it being the 20th of December and I haven't uploaded a Vlogmas video. I did it last year whilst being in Dubai with Les Mis and then coming home and doing rehearsals for the Christmas Carol whilst also writing my book, All That She Can See, and it was hectic. It was absolutely crazy and I just didn't feel like I could do the same this year with being in Singapore for Adam's family, coming home and rehearsing for the Christmasaurus and writing When the Curtain Falls. I just thought it would be a little bit too much this year. But I really do love doing Vlogmas and so I wanted to do something along the same lines, just not in December when my life is at its craziest. So I have created a new project for myself called Three Cheers for New Year's in which I vlog every day in January. I didn't want this to be just any video project, I wanted this to be something where you and I could get involved together and I wanted to make a difference. And so during January I'm going to be raising money with this video project for WWF. Copperfield and Girl Guiding. Three charities mean a lot to me and I've worked with a couple of them before on various different things and I hope you guys agree that they are very, very worthy causes. The plan, obviously, is to try and raise as much money as we possibly can for WWF, Copperfield and Girl Guiding, but it didn't feel right to ask you guys to donate to these charities without trying to give something back to, at the very least, a few of you. I paused for a second there to take inventory of what I have. <laughs> I currently have a lot of prizes to give away, but the inventory seems to keep growing as more people keep donating prizes that I'm able to give you guys, which is amazing, which means what you hear in this video will potentially expand over the next month or so. Which just means there's more chances for people to win, which is super exciting. Firstly, the page on which you can donate is www uk.virginmoneygiving.co.uk slash Carrie Hope Fletcher but it would be much easier to go to the description because the link will be the first thing you see down there. Virgin Money Giving accepts donations from all over the world, which means people from all over the world can be in with a chance to win these prizes. If you want to be in with a chance of winning one of these prizes, then all you need to do is donate, but make sure that your donation isn't anonymous because otherwise I won't know who to contact. But if you wish to donate and you don't want to be in with a chance of winning one of these prizes for whatever reason, then please make sure your donation is anonymous. Now, into the nitty gritty of this. Some of these prizes are unbelievably exclusive. They are once in a lifetime type prizes. As in you cannot buy them anywhere and the shows they are from are no longer on, and even if they were on again, the cast would be entirely different. So these are prizes that you are never, ever, ever going to get again. And so I thought it was only fair that how much you donate has a say in what you could potentially win. So, here's how it's gonna work. If you donate five pounds or more, you could be in with a chance of winning one of 10 sets of hopeful postcards, or one of 10 signed posters. The posters are in here, but they look like this. If you donate £15 or more, you could potentially win one of my signed books. That is all I know now, although I only have the US version, sorry about that. All I know now, on the other side, all that she can see, and even Winter Snow, which was my exclusive novella, which I don't know if you can buy anymore. Also, I think my brother has a couple of books to add into this category, so you could also potentially win The Christmas Horus or The Creakers, and they will be signed. Or, in this category, you could also be in with a chance of winning one of ten hopeful backpacks. Ah! Now, here is where we get past the point of things that you can buy in shops. Here's where it gets extremely exclusive. If you donate £25 or more, you could be in with a chance of winning a Singaporean Adams Family cast signed photo, signed by the entire cast of the Singaporean version of the Adams Family. If you donate £25 or more, you could be in with a chance of winning one of three Adams Family Singapore programs signed by the entire cast. Oh my god! And last but not least, if you donate £25 or more, then you could be in with a chance of winning one of eight Zeet art posters of the Eventim Apollo, signed by the cast 
of the Christmasaurus. Now, when I was in the Adams Family, I was thinking ahead. And this is my favourite prize that you could potentially win. It's also the most exclusive prize that you could probably win. If you donate £35 or more, you could be in with a chance of winning one of two sets of mini Instax Polaroids of the entire Adams Family cast in costume and signed by the actor. Just for a quick example, there's me, Cameron Blakely, Oliver Ormson, Scott Page. So if you donate £35 or more, you could be in with a chance of winning an entire cast set of Instax Mini signed Polaroids by the cast of The Addams Family. Now, I couldn't leave this without there being a big final prize. And so, for one lucky person who donates £50 or more, they will win, and I'm going to have to read this because the list is very long, a set of Adams Family Polaroids signed by the cast, an Adams Family poster and an Adams Family program both signed, a Christmasaurus signed poster, a book, a backpack, one of my signed posters, and a set of postcards. This is exciting stuff, guys. This is exciting stuff. So the way it's going to work, at the end of January, I will find all of the people who have donated £50 or more and put them into one little hat. I will then draw a name from that hat and they will win the big prize. Then, everyone who is left who didn't win gets tipped into the next category, which is £35 or more. And then everyone who donated £35 or more, I will then pick the winners from that. And then everyone who didn't win from there gets put into the next category and down and so forth. With everyone who is left, who hasn't won a prize, there is a surprise draw. Ooh. I think I've covered everything, but if I haven't, please feel free to ask questions in the comments and I will do my best to answer said questions. So I hope you're excited and go donate. Let's raise as much money as we possibly can for WWF, Copperfeel and Girl Guiding, three charities that really need these donations who do incredible work in very, very different areas of the world's needs. And let's give three cheers for New Year's. <laughs>